So we're here at the Photokina 2018, and who are you? Hi, my name is Shahar Binun. I'm the CEO of Humanized Technologies, the creators of those views cameras. So you say humanized flat. technologies? Humanized technologies. So you humanize the technologies? We humanize the technologies, indeed. It's a good name, even though it came up before those cameras. And uh, Views Plus is uh, an existing product that we have, a very successful 3D, 360 VR camera. And it has okay. lots of cameras around. Yes, it has eight cameras generating 4K per eye. 4K per eye in 360. In 360. But you, you don't have up and down, right? Or you don't have we all the way... We have all the way. You have it's everything. The entire it's a full spherical stereoscopic uh, camera. So are they, are they also pointing a little bit up and down, some of them? Or they're like very well, fisheye? Or? It's a, it's a fisheye vertical one that is solving the problem. It's 180 degrees vertical nice. field of view that so is capable of capturing on the zenith and the, and the bottom. So are you the world leader in 360 3D? Well, you know, a world leader is, uh, uh, with this uh, kind of competition is, uh, is a big word, but definitely one of in the leading quantity, companies. Maybe? One of the leading companies in this uh, uh, arena. Yeah. Because and it's not enough to have 360. You also want to have 3D? Or sometimes well, it's enough to only have 360 are, without 3D? We are 3D. great believers of 3D. The entire company is built on 3D. We have more than 70 patents in the field of uh, 3D and computer vision. And we think that in order to create an immersive content, it must be in 3D because we see each other in, in, in 3D. So uh, yes, all our products are related uh, in one way or another to 3D. Nice. And uh, so this is the Views Plus. There was a Views before. What's the difference? Right. Well, the main difference is that Views Plus is capable of doing live broadcast in real time. Uh, we have also improved some of the uh, things that uh, were at the Views 1, including um, uh, improved audio and improved optics. But in general, it's the same kind of camera. Um, so live broadcast to YouTube? Live broadcast to YouTube, to Facebook, to wherever you want. That's really cool, right? Yeah, it is. A lot it of is. users do this? Uh, a lot of our customers are buying the Views Plus because of this capability of uh, broadcasting in real time their event. And so the UI is on the phone to, to ma manage it or you just click and that's it? No, this one requires a, a computer to stitch the uh, content, the eight full HD um, uh, sensors and broadcast at the, at the same time. So it's capable of uh, stitching and broadcasting every frame. But you said it was 4K per eye or not for the live streaming? It's 4K per eye. It means but that even in there's general there's each. 8K inside the camera that needs to be processed. Oh. Yeah. 4K for each eye. Ah yeah, 4K because it's 1080 plus 1080 plus 1080 plus 1080 is 4K. Exactly. Right, that's, that's really awesome. So this is actually an 8K camera. In, in a way it's 8K uh, camera but you're 4K. enjoying only the 4K because, yeah. but in 3D. And two times 4K camera at least. Right. Yeah. Uh, and what's the price? The price of this one is uh, 1200 1195 US dollars and euros. Um, actually, the Views one is still available in the market for only 799 So uh, if, you're, if you're not interested in the uh, live stream. streaming, then you can save $400. But you need a very strong computer to live stitch? Well, you better have a good uh, computer with a good graphic cards, like NVIDIA 1080 or something. So like better that. not. Uh, it's difficult to find a laptop that can do it, or laptop no, a no, strong one can do it. There's quite a lot of laptops available with a good yeah. uh, 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 graphic cards. There was no chance you could do the live stitching built in. No, not on this one. Because not too many cameras. One. Too much data to process, uh, and not at this price range. Nice, and uh, and you also have a new new product. Yeah, and here we are at the Photokina, and we are very very proud to announce here this cute little uh, device, which is called the Views XR. What's unique about this camera? It's it's a dual camera. It's actually uh, a VR 180 camera that can easily be changed into a 2D 360 camera. So you have two cameras in one at 5.7K. What do you say, 5.7? 5.7K. Mm -hmm. We are very proud to increase it by 50% of the resolution from, four, from the standard 4K available in the market to 5.7 with just one click. You open it from a 2D 360 into it looks like a, VR 180. A little robot face. 
Indeed, and it's not by coincidence because we are using the same stereoscopic distance of human eyes. It does look so human, so but it does look, uh, it does like have a, a character, wouldn't you say so? It looks so cool. It is, and uh, not only cool, but also high quality uh, videos and photos. So was it launched at Photokina or before? Uh, we had a, like a sneak peek uh, in July, back in July, announcing our intention. But now we've opened it to uh, pre-order, and we are happy to ship it uh, in about eight weeks from now, uh, towards the end of November. So anybody who buys it now in our website at views.camera will get it not only with a camera, but also with a very cool underwater case or a protective cover uh, that we provide, as well as with an SD card and a free shipping. So it's a pretty good deal for the pre-order customers. Can we, can we look around it? So is there like SD card slot under yeah. it or? So here you have SD card, you can have up to 256 uh, gigabyte, maybe even more than that, with a charging one. This is the on and off button, which is very simple. You can also change the mode here. The Wi-Fi connection to a very robust and rich application that allows you to uh, manipulate the content, to do what we call editor's cut, um, add objects, and uh, stream it live. Uh, quite a lot of stuff uh, comes with the uh, uh, application. Live stream YouTube, Facebook? YouTube, Facebook, and also some any, any other platform that you have. But you cannot live stream 5.7K, right? Uh, no. The, uh, the 4K is stitched inside the camera. If you want to use it at 5.7K, you do need to take it into our studio. The same, by the way, the same studio of the Views Plus, and you can uh, post-process it, stitch it, de-warp it and stitch it, and then you can uh, use the content at 5.7K. Is there any chance that the 5.7K can be live streamed through the computer? Or it's yes. only post? Yes, once, not live stream. Once it is stitched, you can do the, uh, uh, the broadcast. What no, would be cool live. is, uh, is um, uh, well, if, if, you, if you do live stream, then it's only going to do 4K built in, right? Yes. If and you want to do live, live stream, built in? it's live stitched inside the camera, and then you can broadcast it in real time, uh, in stream it and broadcast it uh, in real time. But it's not going to record a 5.7K all at the same time. No, it's just going no, to do only the 4K. You need to decide using yeah. the application whether you want to use a 4K or a 5.7K. If you want to, to use the maximum quality, you better use the 5.7K and then stitch it later on in, the, uh, in your computer. And uh, is it the same when you do 3D? Then it's uh, half of a 4K for each eye? Or how does it work? Yes, it, half of a 4K or, or half of a 5.7K. So and actually you're enjoying a 3K per eye in a 3D mode if you're using the 180 VR. Exactly. Would you say 3K? 3K pi? Yes, yes, slightly less than the 3K, you know. Half 2. of 5.7K, is that the one? Half of, point, half, yeah. half of 5.7K. Nice. Um, uh, what's the battery life? Uh, how does it compare with some of the other... Uh, well, well uh, for the views, uh, views Plus, we were very proud to have a two hours recording time. Uh, for this one, since it's a more consumer one and the uh, space is a bit smaller, we have a one hour recording time which is uh, good enough, I think, for most uh, uh, cameras. Obviously, if you are using a power bank, you can extend it as much as you want. So it looks very nice that it, it looks like the, so the lens is, uh, you know, it's, there's a space here a little bit. So is that the, the, the best design that can be done for a full 360 design? We think that the design is remarkable. Nothing less but remarkable. Uh, it is... Um, for the performance also, not for, just for the design. For the performance, for the, for the design, and for any other aspect. It may look like a simple camera, and that's good that it looks like it's a simple camera, but think about how complex is it to create a dual camera with the, the mechanical uh, capabilities of a camera that needs to change thousands of times from 180 to 360. So how many people do you think are going to do 360 and how many people are going to do 3D? You know, that's a very interesting and good question. We think that people who are interested even slightly bit in 180 VR would be interested in this camera. And they said, oh, and by the way, I can change it into a 360, which is obviously a more popular uh, format right now. But um, we see uh, a great uh, attraction of the 180 VR 
and we think that this would be the engine to, to buy it. Whether in terms of content they would use a 180 or 360, it's a, big, uh, it's a big question. It's a completely different type of content. In a way, this camera is a bridge between a social VR camera, which is 360 that you enjoy on the smartphone or on YouTube, uh, to a 180 VR camera where you can actually see a more immersive content. And how, does you, how would you say maybe the quality is compared with uh, some other competitors well, that do 360 2D? Well, number one, uh, um, this is uh, the first camera that is doing a dual camera at 5.7K. And you know, resolution is important for uh, virtual reality. Um, so we think that a 50% more res resolution is, uh, is extremely important for, uh, for the quality. In all other aspects, I think it's like a, a similar to the leading 360 cameras and uh, similar to the leading 180 VR. But it's, the nice thing here is that it's the same device. And uh, YouTube is also doing this a lot of promotion for the 160, uh, 180 VR, right? Yes, and we are is very... It's like a new kind of thing. Yes, and we are very proud to say that we are working very closely with the YouTube team, uh, uh, an amazing team that is pushing very hard this format. And we are um, in the process of certification, of certifying this camera to the 180 VR format of uh, YouTube. It's at the end of the process, so we'll, we'll finish it up in the next few weeks. Any chance to connect the external mic? Or that's not possible. You have to do it uh, post-processing. Um, with external mic, uh, yes, you have to do it with the post-processing. Yeah. But, but is we that do have, in we your, do in have your four app microphones here. Oh, we we four do mic have four microphones here, that, uh, and another one here behind, that with a, a relatively, you know, inexpensive uh, consumer camera that is capable of not only capturing in 3D and in 360, uh, but is also capturing 360 audio. But this, as I said before, it's done in the post-processing of our studio. So you do 360 audio, high quality? High quality 360 audio. Uh, like uh, people don't need to, they even don't even need, want to consider an, ex an external mic, it's good enough? Well, you know, external mics also has some other things. If, for example, if you want to use it for an interview like that, yeah. uh, it's, not, uh, it's not the right uh, purpose for that. But if you're going to use it for a, a ambisonic audio, then it's, uh, it's doing it uh, very well, actually. So uh, you have a big booth right here at uh, Fotokina. Can we look yes. around for a second? Yeah. You have yeah. some stuff you're showing? Yeah, sure. So let's walk around. Nice. So, so what are they doing right here? Oh, this is a green screen. It's a very interesting. Yeah. Uh, this is a green screen that you can, you can be shot and choose the scene that you want, whether it is under the water, <laughs> whether it is a dancing scene, or whether it is a Dracula scene as you want. So the uh, user is choosing that, and we are post we are uh, shooting the user and actually place the user inside a scene that was already shot by the views camera, and that becomes really realistic. You can actually you see, see yourself. Or? You can actually can see, see what you see. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, this is it, and it's me. Really so you position him <laughs> dancing right there with these guys. Where is he? Ah, oh, he's dancing right there. Yeah. <laughs> but the other guys were not there. No, it's the template. Just added. Right. So that's cool. a, that's a, that's a very cool uh, uh, activity that we have here in the booth. Let's see some other stuff here at the booth. So here is the the experience. Uh, oh, one second. Place yeah. where we where we show uh, mostly on Oculus uh, devices. Yeah. So so these are uh, standalone Ocul Oculus. These are standalone Oculus, but uh, I'm uh, I'm directly. What, what kind uh, of stuff is going on in there? So well, everything that we shot basically on the views uh, on, uh, on the views plus on the views one, all the kind of uh, contents I've created together with NASA and National Geographic in the space, under the water, inside the mouth of a shark, uh, with. Uh, Who, uh, uh, which of your employees? Did you send for, to the shark? Actually, one of our customers oh, okay. went there and shot uh, uh, with, the, uh, with the, actually the Views Plus camera. And then the shark came, wanted to eat the camera with its case, found out that it's not so interesting, and left. And the experience that we got out of it is visiting the mouth of a shark. 
Yeah. Which is, Which is uh, in 3D, by the way. You see all those. Uh, with this, this guy? So with, no, actually with, uh, with this guy. <laughs> it's, uh, we have an underwater proof. Speaking of uh, a waterproof, let's see the underwater section of the booth. So here you see the, uh, the future uh, 360 uh, like, yeah. of the views XR. So, so that goes in there? That goes in there. And here you see the underwater case of the Views, Views Plus. Nice. So actually the shark was trying to eat that case. That shark there? This one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this fits in there. This fits in there very well. How much it cost this? That's, that's, you know, by the way, the only way of creating 3D 360 under the water in the world. Unless you have a specific rig that you build for hundreds of thousands of dollars, that's the easiest way to create 3D 360 content under the water. Does uh, the video, the, uh, Discovery Channel, all that, did they buy from you? So Discovery Channel actually is the one with the shark. Uh, use it, there, uh, our customers uh, provided the content. And it's only uh, $2,900, uh, the case. Together with the camera, so it's uh, so it's it's more expensive than the camera itself because we don't do it in mass production, but it's still by far the most affordable way. And how to deep content. you can go with this case? Um, that's another interesting question. We thought that it would be up to only 100 feet, and our customer took it uh, way below 100 meters. But it gets too dark there, and it still worked well. Yeah. yeah, because you need a very sensitive cameras to go so deep, right? Yeah. And uh, it's not designed for super darkness, yeah. right? So, so what are they checking on the other To uh, locate the, uh, certain objects and uh, eliminate them. And once they see that, they get a little uh, present and also they can... Uh, uh, see the specific uh, video with the shark. So let's walk over here. There's a. Uh, uh, just a lot of demos around here. Yeah, and that's the that's the main demo purpose of all our cameras. We have uh, the Views Plus here that is capable of uh, shooting everything here and and um, uh, streaming it directly to the big screen. And then we have all the uh, uh, the cameras around you with all the various colors. Including the uh, Views XR, the new so Views XR. So, what's, what's the price? The price of this camera is 439 US dollars in the US, 439 euros in Europe. And as I said, it's available uh, for pre-order right now at Views.camera, as well as uh, uh, in the near future in other uh, other places. And it will ship at, by the end of November. Nice. So uh, it's an exciting world, uh, the 360 camera business and all that. We are it's definitely enjoying a, that, that it's world. There's been a lot of uh, talk about it in the last few years, right? But what do you, what do you see about the future of it? Well, uh, we haven't seen yet mass adoption of, uh, of the, the, the mass market of uh, VR. But we, what we are seeing is uh, steadily growing this uh, business, still for VR enthusiasts, still more for professionals, still for people who are trying to make money out of VR. But, uh, but we see a, a bigger and bigger adoption. Maybe the hype is a bit down now from 2016 when we met the first time. But, um, I, but we still see uh, an increasing uh, market. And we are hoping uh, that uh, uh, the better the, the technologies are, both on the capturing devices as well, on the, as, well as on the viewing devices, mass adoption will arrive and sooner than expected. It's up to you to create the mass adoption, right? We are because committed. Because if, if you create something awesome, then people will buy. You're absolutely right about that. We are committed to uh, the adoption of VR, including together with our competition, uh, so few companies pushing it and we are uh, improving the technologies on a monthly basis, uh, trying to make uh, the best out of it, and the easy to use, higher quality and more affordable. And you can see, I think, the progress uh, not only on the capturing devices, but also on the platforms like the YouTube and the Facebooks of the world, as, as well as the viewing uh, devices. So it's moving forward steadily, and we are hoping for the mass production, mass adoption to come.